Fearless, dedicated, adaptable, strategic. These are former active duty members of our military. They're also founders and collaborators of Tomahawk Pictures. It all started here at Half King Bar in Chelsea, a writer's group made up of vets formed a production company, leveraging their military experience to produce hard-hitting, creative content with powerful impact. I decided to meet up with them to see how they work. So what do you do when you're here? Uh, collaborate, really. I mean, aside from just ordering brunch and a lot of coffee, a lot of us bring different types of materials at different stages and we send it out ahead of time. And when we get here, we kind of talk it through, just our creative processes, and it really helps us just kind of make things, you know, get to that next stage. That led them to endless hours working at their home office in Harlem, writing and editing, and on sets producing and directing and filming a slew of original content for a host of clients, including this commercial for St. Joseph's Help. Our experience guides us. It makes us better. So do you feel like the military, in essence, gives you an edge in the arts? I definitely think being in the military gives us an edge in this business because we were trained a certain way and we trained in such tight small groups that we know teamwork really well, we know communication really well, so we can operate at different levels, we can be brutally honest <laughs> with everyone and nobody's feelings are hurt, they just understand we're trying to get to a, get to a different place because everybody has a mission focus mindset that allows them to put the ego aside. In order to accomplish this new mission, the principals of Tomahawk, Mike and Caleb, keep a warrior-like daily routine. They get up with the sun and make lots of coffee, work out, and then get to business. When you were in the Marines, did you think about being a storyteller or being in the arts? I did not, but also on a personal level, relating the military to the arts, the ability to endure because a lot of artists have to go through a period of time where you're doing stuff for free, you're spending like all of this time moving yourself forward in your career, or whatever you wanna do in the arts, and the ability to just kind of trudge through and hustle for as long as it takes, which is what we did in the military. Like okay. we, you know, we operated with equipment that wasn't you know, top notch or with information about missions that wasn't 100%. And that was our skill is the ability to take like 70% of the information and still make a decision and, and go. Um, and I think that relates a lot. What they can also relate to is becoming a civilian again and feeling the need to fill a hole in their lives. They didn't quite describe it as PTSD, but they say they definitely had issues transitioning back to normal life. I think what probably caused the most stress in my life was the loss of purpose. You know, I used to be a Marine and now I come to wherever and I'm this other thing. And it doesn't feel nearly as complete or big or, you know, epic. And I think a lot of it also drove me into wanting to be creative because you're discovering. You want to write a story, and I think it, part of that is trying to have mastery over your own story. So the great thing about this organization is you yeah. go find. So now they're writing many stories, some their own, some that are brought to them, using what they call cold-blooded efficiency, learned while deployed, to create warm-hearted tales. 